I'm Stacy. Thank you for joining me in my little home studio for class number three of our gentle yoga series. Starting in mountain pose, shoulders over our hips, hip bones in line with our knees, knees over top of our ankles. So I'll turn to the side so you can see we've got that right angle in shoulders, hips, hips, knees, knees, and ankles. So returning there at any time, taking a break. We can also release into child's pose. Child's pose, lifting those back ribs up and then releasing down. The crown of the head stays in line with the spine. Lifting ourselves up, hands to our thighs, lifting with the chest, coming back up. So we can always release into child's pose. Stepping our feet a little wider. Heels basically about the width of the chair. Hip bones, knees, knees over ankles, hands on our hips, let's just circle one way and then the other, loosen ourselves up a little bit, shoulders back and shoulders over hips. So from our wide leg foundations, we take one leg and just stretch it out a little bit. The toes point to the long and long side of our mat. Leg can be all the way out, part way out, wherever you want it to be. And our shoulders, as I said, are over the hips. Setting up for warrior one, sweeping our arms to the sky over the shoulders, drawing our hands down in front of our chest, pressing our palms together, elbows out to the side. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And then keeping our hands in front of our chest and perhaps gazing over our fingers. Take another big breath and exhale to the side. So our palms are now over our bent knee. Our knee is staying still, and we may have felt a stretch in the leg. Sitting up nice and tall, warrior one. Pressing our palms together, our tummies in. If we have found ourselves leaning, just draw yourself back up to center. The option for our hands is to keep them where they are, or sweep them up over the shoulders, and we can add just a tiniest little back bend. Back to center. We can always rest down in heart center or release the hands down at any time. Remembering child's pose is always an option. Inhale and exhale. From warrior one, moving to warrior two, sweep the hands to the sky, opening wide. Palms are up at shoulder height, then down. We're looking out over our bent knee. Inhale, keeping our head where it is and just turn the torso back around front. So our arms are reaching to the walls on each side of the room, looking out over our bent knee, taking a big breath, lengthening, reaching with the fingertips. Options for our hands, bring them to our shoulders. Notice that sort of takes some of the weight away. Or release our hands all the way down. Sweeping back up when you're ready. Turning our gaze, we can always turn our head to look out over our hand. Warrior one. Was when we had our hands in heart center. Now we've got our hands extended for warrior two. Moving to reverse warrior. Take the hand over the extended leg, holding on behind the chair. Turn the other palm up. We're going to reach a little bit and then scoop up to the sky, over the shoulder, reach up and lengthen. For those that saw the earlier videos, we lengthen the side before we do that lateral bend. An option here is to bring the hand behind the head for an extra stretch to the tricep. We can reach a little bit more, always holding on, supported with the hand behind the thigh on the chair. And inhaling up, open, allow that hand to come down, bring it onto the thigh. For extended side angle, we're taking the hand onto the back of the chair Lifting it up a little bit, notice how it draws that shoulder back. Inhale and exhale to the side. So we're stretching the other side. Crown the head to line with spine. We can turn a little bit towards the ceiling. And draw that hand back. The goal is to have the shoulder drawn back. Slightly. And we're supporting some weight with our hand. And we're breathing. With a big breath coming back up to center. Walk that leg in, 
Hands to our thighs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge. Wide leg forward fold. Then lift with the chest, coming up, rolling the shoulders back, sitting up nice and tall. Let's lift the heels and come up into a fierce angle. Draw our elbows together, opening wide, lower our heels, sweep our hands down, and extend the other leg out. Same thing, stopping where we want to stop. It can be all the way out, feeling that length, coming in wherever we're comfortable. It's this leg, we're going to make sure the knee is over top of our knee. That'd be hard, knee over top of our heel. Finding a comfortable position, shoulders over our hips, sweeping our hands all the way up over our shoulders, coming down in front into heart center, setting up for warrior one. Inhale, lengthen, keeping our gaze over our fingertips, hands in front of our torso, and we'll turn to the side. Again, feeling a stretch in the leg, relaxing it, bringing it in anytime we want. Child's pose, always a great option. Inhale, and we can keep our hands where they are, pressing our palms together, or lift the hands up over the shoulders. Add a little tiny back bend, coming back to neutral, or just staying in heart center. Taking a breath, pausing here, feeling the stretch. For warrior two, let's sweep the hands up if they're not already up, opening wide. Palms are up at shoulder height, then down, protecting the shoulders when we're moving up and down. Inhale, keeping your head still, and turn them back, facing towards the front of the room, the top of the mat, the long side, and turn your head if it's moved over the long side, or pardon me, over the knee. Inhale, reach with the fingertips, lengthening the spine, options. Hands to our shoulders, release the hands down, sweeping up when you're ready. For reverse warrior, we will bring the hand down, holding onto the chair, turn the other palm up, scoop a little bit, and then lift up, extend, reaching the ceiling, and then adding that bend. Extended side angle, coming up next. As we come back through warrior two, take the hand onto the thigh, the other hand reaches the back of the chair. We can rest on our hand or on our forearm, drawing the shoulder back, looking forward or up. Remembering to breathe, so we've stretched both sides each way. Big breath back up to center, walking that leg in. Back to wide leg foundation, take both hands around the back, holding the back of the chair, drawing your shoulder blades back, and we we'll slide our hands up for chest expansion. Take a big breath. And then support yourself back up, release the shoulders, walking our feet back in. Bring our hands down to child's pose. Big back breath. And we can relax here for a few more breaths. Then when you're ready, lifting up to mountain. Hope to see you again. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.